about the U.S. more than Thailand. We don't have this. <laughs> One thing I love about Thai people uh -huh. is the lack of negativity. This is a big thing for me. Thai people have almost inspired me to be like more positive. Thailand, everywhere is the content for us. Bangkok, yeah. why? Why do you need to take photos all the time? They're so positive, <laughs> nice. <laughs> สวัสดีค่ะตอนนี้ทุกคนอยู่ในช่องของเพชรแฟนแล้วตอนนี้เราอยู่กับสกอตนี่ไหนสกอตแนะนําตัวหน่อยอินโทรดิวส์ยูเ
call attention to yourself in some way. Mm -hmm. And so because Botcash had blue hair, mm -hmm. uh, just that, mm. just that, people would be like, hey, blue hair. And it's like, mm. okay, mm. yeah. And yeah. like, I think I, re I remember I told you about like, I have a shirt which is just red and white striped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just a nice shirt, but when, when I considered buying it, I was with my wife and she was like, oh, this would be cute. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I like it a lot, but um, I know somebody's gonna call me Waldo. Like, I just know that that's gonna happen. Aww. And every time I've worn it, I mm -hmm. hear it like 10 times. Somebody's like, hey, Waldo. And like, sometimes they're trying to be like, like a cute joke, like it's like mm -hmm. family or something. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you look like Waldo. Uh -huh. But other times it's like some dude in the street like mm -hmm. that I've never met before. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, Waldo, I found you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, okay. Like, uh -huh. I'm just trying to live my life, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. For Thai people, if you wear something cute, we always say like, you look cute today! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like even, even what I'm wearing right now, mm. somebody will be like, hey, you look gay! And it's like... I'm, really? Yeah, like, I'm okay. Like, I, I don't care how I look. If I look gay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not, I'm mm -hmm. not gay. And uh -huh. that's not a problem if I was. But yeah. what are you trying to say, you know? Why are you trying to pick a fight with me? Like, mm -hmm. what, what is the point, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. โอเคข้อแรกก็คือ positivity นะความพลังบวกที่ไทยจะแบบเยอะมากกว่าจริงๆถัดไป next thing นะ I want s c o t t to try black tofu no มันคือขนมเปียกปูนค่ะ oh it's soft soft yeah is this like super sweet like the topping on this everything is sweet here it's dessert yeah but okay <laughs> eat and tell me oh, what actually. is good man yeah Good. Yeah, I like this one more. You know, this is uh, one of my most favorite Thai desserts. What else apart from positivity? So, piggybacking off of what we were just talking about, about like doing things in public. If there's one thing I can never do in America without somebody bothering me, it's like taking photos in a public place. And I love that here. It is the most <laughs> difficult thing for me because a lot of the people who like really inspire me uh, are really active on Instagram, you know, like social media, posting all the time, taking photos every day, seeing people that like post every two or three days, mm -hmm. like in some nice outfit out somewhere. And it's like the hardest thing to do in America, or at least where I live. I should say like, I think the West Coast has a bit of a different culture about this, mm -mm. but the area that I live um, is like East Coast, um, sort of like uh, mostly known for like schools like education and things like that mm -hmm. and not very many people are in touch with like social media quite as much mm -hmm. they don't use it to like advertise locally or anything like that mm -hmm. like they do here and when i go out into the city and i try taking photos or if i'm shooting like a music video or something like that it's really common for someone to come over and start asking questions like mm -hmm. what are you filming hey mm -hmm. what, like what, when are you gonna upload it mm -hmm. like not like in the polite way like in thailand some mm -hmm. people are just curious but they will like really just pester you until yeah, yeah. to the point where you just need to film somewhere else uh -huh. or you need to take photos somewhere else mm -hmm. a lot of like kids will try to like get in the background of your photos and things like that like I think maybe not every American person can relate to this because most people might not be like me trying to like uh -huh. take photos all the time uh -huh. but it happens to me all the time yeah. like it's very difficult to just go out and do like simple things about photos and videos uh -huh. because of that reason and Thailand <laughs> is the best because I can go out to like Siam and just be in the middle of like a really public area with many people yeah. and right next to me taking a photo is like someone with their friend taking their photo yeah. and everybody's just cool with it and they just uh -huh. leave you alone uh, yeah, right. best thing in the world <laughs> I wish I could have that at home I think Thailand everywhere is the content for us it becomes our culture subconsciously for sure. When I went to Korea, like South Korea, mm -hmm. Korean people go to cafe mm. to like chill and talk, right. drink. But for Thai people, you be we, like, <laughs> we go to cafe. I, I I don't mean like all everyone, but like yeah. most of them, some of them feel like we go to cafe to take photos. Right. We have to get photos. Of course, yeah. From going to cafe. <laughs> like, we're, yeah. we're gonna be there. It's our one chance. Yeah. I'm wearing a beautiful outfit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, and you know what's funny too is like with American people, the best you'll get is you'll be at like a party and like your friend will be sitting next to you uh -huh. and you'll be like, yo, let's take a selfie real quick. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Maybe I'll upload it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> this is kind of 
individual's preference. I mean, like individual preference. Or for someone like you who likes taking photos or yeah. stuff like that, they would think that wow, Thailand is really great. Definitely, it's like better than America. That's why But, I say it's, it's yeah. a perfect. This is a beautiful country for me. <laughs> yeah, but someone probably not for everybody. Yeah, but like for someone who isn't like who is like opposite to you. Yeah, they may think oh, Bangkok. Yeah. Why? Why do you need to take photos all the time? Something right. Like that. Why are they so positive and nice? <laughs> why are they always yeah. complimenting people yeah. and smiling? <laughs> <laughs> That was it. And you know this this one we call lip m u n a which means um, ladies finger. Oh, you can I, see that. I love that. You can see that it looks like finger. I eat those all the time. Ladies finger? Yeah, it probably sounded weird, huh? Oh my god. Best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> one thing mm-hmm. I really like about Thailand mm-hmm. is. I shouldn't say the name of the brand, right? But food delivery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is everything I'm saying. I like about Thailand is really what I like about Bangkok. You know, I love uh-huh. food delivery apps. We actually have it on the West Coast. It's uh-huh. kind of popular in the mm-hmm. USA, but the delivery fee is like uh-huh. up here. You know, you just reminded me of something way more amazing about Thailand. <laughs> Can I, I ask you about the delivery fee? Yeah, you? it's like five dollars probably. So actually, yeah. I should, so if I want to have food delivered in the USA, mm-hmm. food is maybe like twenty dollars. Let's say that's like six hundred baht, seven hundred baht. Five dollar. Okay. And then delivery fee will be like five dollars, which will be like a hundred fifty baht. And then on top of that, you have to tip the delivery driver too. So then you're basically putting in like another one hundred fifty baht. So altogether, you're putting in what? What is that? Like a thousand baht. Uh-huh. And. Here, the delivery fee is like, you know, yeah, reasonable. You know, when I go to the delivery app uh, and I see the delivery fee is around like more than 10 baht, I feel mm, mm, yeah, dang, expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you when you talk about America, I feel like 10 baht. When Brittany was okay, here, she was 20. looking at the delivery fee. She's like. I can have a whole dinner delivered for only a dollar. <laughs> yeah. The delivery fee is only two yeah. dollars. And I'm like, All right, didn't you just eat? And she's like, Yeah, but it's only two dollars. I can eat again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and we ordered like pizza last time. And yeah. You don't yeah. remember? Like the delivery fee was maybe like 60 baht. And for like Thai. Perspective. You were like, oh, it's too expensive. Too and then Brittany expensive. showed up and was like, Bing ordered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You reminded me. I don't know why I didn't put this on the list. Mm-hmm. Eating at restaurants here is so nice because it's just in and out. This is okay. This is the one thing I will say actually sucks about America. I like America. Oh, land of the free. <laughs> Beautiful country. Great place to live. Mm-hmm. All the rights I need. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But going to a restaurant in America takes like two and a half fucking hours and wastes all of your time. So if I wanna if I wanna go to the restaurant and order pad thai, right? Here, uh-huh. I sit down. I say you know peacock, peacock. or whatever, mm-hmm. and then say like, hey, I wanna order pad thai, and they're like, okay, and then they bring it over. Mm-hmm. I eat it. I say, hey, I wanna pay. I pay. I leave. Yeah. Right. All right. In America, <laughs> you sit down. They hand you the menu. You look through the menu. And you need to like visibly signal to them that you're done looking at the menu uh-huh. through body language alone. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> They need to visibly observe that you are done looking at the menu, mm-hmm. and then also it needs to like align with that waiter's schedule. Uh-huh. Like I'm not busy right now. Let me come over and ask you what you want. Uh-huh. So like I'll every time I'm done looking at the menu uh-huh. and like we're not getting served for a while, I'll say like ah, close your menu so that they know we're done looking at it. Uh-huh. And then we'll all close our menu and kind of just sit there like this, like hmm, I am very ready. I'm very ready for ordering uh-huh. now, you know. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> and then finally they come over and they're like, "Can I start you off with a drink?" And it's like, oh, "Fuck, I need a drink." Okay, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take this. Uh-huh. And they're like, "Okay, great. Uh, are you guys ready to order food?" Or like, "Yeah, we're we're ready to order food." Uh-huh. And then they're like, "Okay, what what do you what will you be having?" And then you give them your food order, and they're like, "Okay, great. We'll be right back with your food." And then they leave, and then they come back in about like five ten minutes with your drink, uh-huh. and then they leave. And then like 10 minutes, 15 minutes go by, and you're just you're hanging out. You're you're already ready to leave if you're a uh-huh. Thai person, because <laughs> like you would have already been in and out of uh-huh. there by now. But they they uh they come back and they deliver your food, and you're like, oh thank God, <laughs> I can finally eat. Uh-huh. And then you you eat your food, and when you're finished, it is another waiting game, uh-huh. which can extend anywhere from five minutes to like half an hour of just sitting there like, 
Boy, that was a great meal. I am done eating. Uh -huh. There is no food being consumed uh -huh. anymore by any of us in this party. <laughs> so the amount of time that I spend like wasted in a restaurant in America versus Thailand is like 300%. <laughs> and when they finally come around and everything's done with and you get the check, uh -huh. it's like mandatory tipping culture, basically. Like everybody's gonna think you're the biggest jerk in the world if you don't tip like 15% is like the minimum, I think. So mm -hmm. if you got something for like uh, 300 baht, mm -hmm. you need to spend at least uh, 45 baht? Mm -hmm. 45 baht for the tip. Oh. Yeah. And it's like, if you don't do that, mm -hmm. you're like Satan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like everybody's like, you're, you're a jerk. Uh -huh, uh -huh, <laughs> you know? uh -huh. So I just save myself the trouble and like uh -huh. make food at home. Uh -huh. Like I hate going to restaurants in America yeah. and I love going to restaurants in Thailand. <laughs> it doesn't sound fun at all to go to uh, restaurant in America. It's a waste of time and money. <laughs> it's great if you want to like go out with friends and kind of have something to do for three hours. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my god, that's fucking gross. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. You like it? Mm. Things I like about the US more than Thailand. We don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Scott. Thank you so much for my YouTuber so we that now turn off now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're just hanging out now. <laughs> okay, one nina ka kun scorma. Thank you so much for like talking about good things in Thailand. Yeah. I feel like I complained <laughs> more about the US than I said good things about Thailand. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, but I think everywhere, not just Thailand and the USA, anywhere in the world has like pros and cons. Of course, of good course, size. of course. Yeah. ก็ Scott ได้นะคะที่ทําเกี่ยวกับอะไรไทยๆ you like make videos about Thai culture in your channel yeah, yeah, yeah. ก็ go watch his video subscribe Scott Cotta thank you ตอนนี้ sweet การเป็น youtuber ของเพจมันแบบ off แล้วว่ามันปิดแล้วเพราะว่าหลังกินเสร็จเพจง่วงเลยบ๊ายบายโอ้กดไลค์กดแชร์กดซับสไครป์กดกระดิ่งให้กับช่องเพจแซนด้